G20 commitments, for example, in, in to reform wasteful and insufficient fossil fuel subsidies, which Mr. Hamre as well as Guy touched upon, and in this uh, uh, issue, the G10, in the G20 group, the United States is leading in this exercise. I had a very good chat, just I show you for, I, 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 I had a good chat with your president <laughs> in Yokohama, in the APEC meeting about subsidy. He really appreciate our work and our contribution to the process. I really appreciate, I really thank him for using us in that sense. And uh, these policies definitely could make a difference, but still it's not binding. And with what level of ambition and commitment will they be pursued? And how far can they take us toward a sustainable energy future? Our latest World Energy Outlook wrestles with these questions. This is the so-called carbon intensity or decarbonization of the energy. It is normally taking place uh, in this space about 1.4% per year. It is improving 1.4% per year. If the most strangest, strangest interpretation of the Copenhagen pledges were to be made, and they were to be fulfilled, as I told they are voluntary, nobody uh, knows if they are going to fulfill, the, the carbon intensity improvement becomes from 1.4% to 2.8 percent, double. And we have uh, seen only once in our lifetimes that the carbon intensity improved 2.5 percent. It was right after the oil price shock. But it was only one year, and this has to be uh, about uh, uh, 12 years. And the problem is not that. The problem is, after that even, the carbon intensity has to, uh, improvement has to double again about 5.4%. Uh, uh, it means compared to now, we have to see a fourfold increase in the, our efforts. And on top of that, those efforts mostly need to take place where the climate change is not at the top of the agenda of the countries. Uh, what happens in your analysis if nothing happens? Just on a hunch that the United States, along with other countries, uh, does not take uh, some of the efforts to produce, say, clean energy legislation or the like. If no policy change as of 2010 continues 25 years of time, we will have a temperature increase about 6 degrees Celsius. We are heading to that. And there is no uh, doubt about it. This is a, a definitely a catastrophic uh, way. 